Hello everybody, we're so unorganised and not ready today. We just sat down, got ourselves all comfy and then we went, we didn't bring the jumble sale stuff in. Hi guys, <laughs> so, <laughs> we've literally got two Ikea bags that we've just bought in. So we're like, oh, I sat here thought, quick. I'm all organised, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the stuff? So how are you all? Welcome. Right, let me sort myself out. As usual, we've had a hectic weekend and haven't really stopped. Ah, and as you can see from the title, I'm an idiot. But then you all knew that anyway. <laughs> That's hardly newsworthy, is it? No, not really. Oh, you haven't got your newsreader glasses on today. Oh, it's only me. I've got glasses on as well. Well, that means I'll be squinting to see the chat. <laughs> right, okay. So I still don't know what the okay. difference is between top chat and then the live chat, where it says all messages mm -hmm. of video are, are visible. I think it's live chat when it then um, shows up again on the on the video. It showed up when I've had it as top chat. Oh. I think, I don't know. I don't really Let me know if anyone understands what the really difference understand. is. Anyway, welcome to yes. our regular Sunday thing. I'm Nick and he's out of breath. I'm Andrew. We've just been running around the house gathering this stuff up. <laughs> it was like it's eight o'clock. Where's the stuff? I know. Yeah. And, and I we... was just chilling out, watching a bit of YouTube, and I was like, oh, 10 2. <laughs> to get myself sorted. So yeah, welcome back. If you're a regular, if you're new, as I was saying, we're Nick and Andrea. We are resellers, which means we buy stuff. Look around, just whatever we can get we our buy hands on. Stuff. And we sell it. Yeah, sometimes we list it. Sometimes we list stuff and sell it <laughs> on our little eBay account. Um, yeah, and we do it for a living. We, we've been resellers for 16 years. We sell on eBay and on Amazon. And we love it. And we share what we do on YouTube. So, yeah, let's say some hellos. Uh, first in was, that's Andrew, isn't it? Yes. Uh, who goes by Falling on a Bruise. So welcome, Peter Ray, Chelsea. Hi, guys. Yeah, that chat is really blurry. I'm wishing I put my glasses Do you want to go and get your glasses? I'll, I'll say some hellos. Yeah. And I'll start sharing a few bits and bobs. I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Bear with. Andrew's off to get her glasses. Uh, how have sales been this weekend, says Chelsea. For us, eBay, pretty average, to be honest. I don't think we've done a great deal, averaging about £100 plus a day uh amazon's still ticking along well still selling loads of those um do you remember i shared pictures of the, our hallway filled with chocolate coin makers which i was did put in the loft thinking for christmas and then i figured i'm going to send them up now because they seem to sell year round and we're selling tons of those i think they'll all be gone in a few months which is cool um so amazon's ticking along nicely monty come out of the way what are you doing he thinks there's food on the floor for some reason Hoping. so yeah sales are okay nothing exciting that's better i can see people now fabulous <laughs> so yeah welcome guys uh 165 people in hello welcome we do have some things to share with you we've we actually bought some new stock we went to a jumble sale yesterday yeah i had quite an eventful time Shall I share well, that it was first? One event, honestly. It wound me up a little I bit. Know it wound you up. But Only a little bit. It kind of, it, I kind of lost my mojo for a while. Yeah, it did get you down. Okay, I went straight to the electronics room, had a quick scan round, decided I wanted this DVD to VHS to DVD combo. It was a Daewoo. Daewoo. No. Daewoo. We had a Daewoo no, car did. once, didn't we? I was and um. Asked the guy he wanted a tenner for it. Okay. So I paid the man, put it in this blue IKEA bag that's right there. Uh, I actually left the electronics room then, had a quick browse around the toys. There was very little on the toys and games stall that I was interested in. No real board games of any consequence, etc. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to go back in the electronics and have a proper thorough look because all I've done was scan around and grabbed a couple of bits I was keen on. And I was there busy looking at some camera lenses that I bought in the end. And a guy comes in and goes, where's my DVD player? And I I, I, I had my back to him thinking, oh, dear, this sounds a bit. Ooh, I so, wasn't here. At the someone's not very point, happy, but it's not me. I've just bought a DVD combi, but there you go. And then he comes up and he goes, there it is. And I thought, I only twigged at this point. He was pointing in my bag. And I'm like, no, no, no. I've just bought this from over there. He said, no, I bought that. 
And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I bought this like five minutes ago. And anyway, the guy who sold it to me was stood behind the store and he suddenly looked like, oh, crap, what have I done? And then the guy that was this, was kicking off said, I bought it, but I left it here. Why he left it Why on the left, stool? Yeah. Nobody quite That's figured that. Really. And then he went away, came back. In the meantime, the same guy behind this old chap, bless him, who looked confused as hell, had sold it to me again and taken my money. Yeah. So I said, well, I, I was a little bit kind of, well, I just paid for it and bought it. You know what I mean? You, yeah. you need to sort it out with the stool holder. But he just leant down, grabbed it out of my bag and went. Yeah, and that's the bit that wound you up. That was the bit that was Whilst wrong. really kicking off and shouting the odds about this, that and the other. And I'm like, whoa, but I didn't kick off. I just <laughs> felt a little bit aggrieved by the whole scenario. And I had, I then had to go up to the guy and said, £10, please. You just saw what happened. I don't have my item. Mm -hmm. And he gave me my money back and apologised, which was fair enough. But Yeah, that's fair <sighs> enough. It's just that guy's attitude, really, that that was the part that stank out the whole thing, really. And... We were then met up down in the media room. Uh, I was looking at media. I bought a load of CDs and stuff. Nothing amazing. And I, I explained to you what happened. And another chap was there rummaging around in the vinyl and the CDs. And he, he was in the room when it kicked off. And he said, yeah, it, he, the way he handled it was really out of order. And um, we had a little chat about it. Mm -hmm. And then he came, that this other chap, I'd never met him alive, came up to me later and he said, I've just looked it up on my phone. So I said to Andrea, I thought it was worth about £100, this DVD combi. And I still think it is. But anyway, he'd gone to the trouble of looking up on eBay what he thought the item was and said, I don't think you'd have got much more than 40 or 50. So you didn't really lose much. And it didn't have a remote. So don't mm -hmm. feel too bad about it. And it was trying to make me feel better, which, yeah, was, I know, it was, nice which was nice. Yeah. But it was more the guy's attitude about the whole it was yeah thing. and it did get you down because it makes you just feel a bit mm, i just felt like going nice. home at that point i thought I whatever because I, I was pleased that i'd got yeah. i was going with the idea to try and get a few nice pieces not get loads and loads of stuff be more selective and i thought well that's nice i've got hopefully a hundred pound dvd player i can just chill out now anyway i know i did I know. buy a few more bits after that yeah, um, I just have. I was laughing at Barry, by the way, not at your misfortune. That's not. That's not even this a word. Fortune. Disfor I that's a good up. one. <laughs> I have to blow um, my nose, said, guys. You said about me leaning over to um, use a man's mouth. <laughs> Never a touch a man's I mouth a live man's on air. Mouth. <laughs> that sounds... says, haven't I learned anything from Zoom Beck? <laughs> that was the funny. trouble is Nick leaves the uh, chat hanging because it goes back. And then it doesn't refresh. Well, yeah. Okay. So you leave the chat hanging. I'll go I back. can't actually see what people are saying. So Yeah, Barry says, Andrea, don't lean over <laughs> and use a man's mouth. Yeah. Um, um, okay. Yeah. Right, let me. <laughs> Media room. That's, that's... A, that's a posh. Oh, no, it's not a charity shop. It was a jumble sale. Oh, someone there says, a retro cable. If it was a day where I don't think you missed out too much. I did look up this particular model and it had sold for a hundred but i was you know i was at a jumble so it was a quick search and as the guy who came back and spoke to me said it didn't have its remote which would have affected it yeah i think chunk. he probably did you a favor and it did have a <laughs> dent in the back because this other guy had looked at it first and was i'm in an iron and then this guy who eventually ended up with it had come in and bought it anyway so i think i probably dodged a bullet and it was all fine but it was I was taken aback by the whole thing and his attitude. And he was really in my face yeah, and then just grabbed the my stuff more. out of my bag and went. And I was I like, think it's, you know, when people Whoa. are aggressive towards you, it just makes you feel a bit. Oh, yeah, I'm not yeah, very good at handling I'm, that. I'm not good at that either. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Craig, wow, that guy sounded like a. Well, yes. he was, he felt aggrieved, <laughs> to be fair. And I can see why. But yes, he didn't but you have didn't to steal it from him. He didn't have know? to be that. He left it on the aggressive. table. You didn't know somebody had already bought it. So it wasn't your fault, was it? Yeah. Uh, mm. Reseller Gaming. Oh, that's Tom, isn't it? Reseller Gaming. I'm not used to that name. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tom. That's terrible. I would have gone mad. Yeah. I, d I didn't kick off. It didn't seem there was any point, really. Yeah. That's our D H O T W. <laughs> mm. So yeah, let me get to the end of the chat and we'll show you a few bits. We didn't get I didn't get a whole lot. Andrew got some really nice bits of clothing. Yeah, I got some really nice bits. I'm not gonna show it all because I'm gonna try and do another haul. Um Okay. Is it is that yeah. everything in that bag? Yeah. Okay. But I might show another a couple of just fun bits people might appreciate. I have a day with VHS uh, to DVD recorder, no remote listed 
at 79, says Jason. Okay. Um, I just want to say quickly, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there yes. today. Um, we've had a really nice day. We organised amongst the family with Nick's sisters and his mum that um, all the men folk were going to cook and we left them cooking dinner. It was um, chaos. <laughs> and we walked into town and went and sat in a Starbucks, which was really, really nice. Just had an, about an hour or so chatting. I and... thought you were going to go to the pub and drink wine. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had a nice glass of wine when we got home, but um, yeah, it was just really nice just to sort of hang out and yeah, so and I hope, be cooked for. So I hope all the mothers out there had a relaxing, yeah, enjoyable day. Did. Um, yeah, I know it was that, nice. Um, just seeing that Karen's still not feeling very well, so you know, feel Get better well soon. soon. Yeah. Um, every day is Mother's Day, says Michelle. Well, it is. That is true. It is. And I had a really nice breakfast in bed this morning from Ellen. Um, she plonked Monty on me at eight o'clock this morning. <laughs> and then I was given um, a hot cross bun and a cup of tea, which was really nice. Yeah, you got breakfast in bed. I did. Am I going to get that on Father's Day? You might do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Um, Vinny says, Karma says the day woo. Or Deu, I don't know how you say oh, that. Car won't, won't be working. Well, Karin got a lovely card from Monty, not our Monty, because that would be too clever. Our Monty sent a card, did he? He's <laughs> cleverer than we clever. thought. <laughs> Even I didn't get a card from our Monty. No. Uh, Shazad Hussein has just put a message in. Just started to sell on Amazon and sold two hundred pounds worth of stock in three days. All the stock is free. Blimey! Wow. What? Good uh, one, I still have like 78 of them left. Only downside is I hate Amazon sale notification. No, to oh, I know. It that is true, fun, but you can't it? knock it if you're selling free stock. Yeah, brilliant. if you if you get the right sort of stuff at Amazon, the sales are fast and furious. Um, as I said, when you went to get your um, glasses, we're we're selling tons of those chocolate coin makers, which is nice. Yeah, they're well, not ton. They're ticking along nicely. Put yeah. it that way. Yeah. Um, um, Sam Wildman said that um, she also got a nice breakfast in bed. Nice. Oh. Kay says I. I, I was just amazed that Ellen was up at that time. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> I've I haven't had a good Mother's Day because I've been to Crufts oh, wow. with my mum. That's oh, the dog that's show, cool. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Ah. I picked up over fifty MD games today. Says Chris. Mega Drive, I assume. Ben says, "Is there going to be a jumble sale hall?" Nick and or Andrea. Well, I'm going to do a separate one for clothes because I know that a share. lot of people in this chat don't necessarily do clothes, and so it's quite boring to watch all my clothes. Mine won't <laughs> take long. Apart from that DVD thing, which, as you, as you heard before, I no longer have, um, I didn't pick yeah. up a lot. There were these. Now, I've been buying and selling Guitar Hero since it was the big thing. When we had our gaming shop, we had accounts with all of the big gamers, and we used to stock, stock loads of these, didn't we? Brand new yeah. from Activision. Um, that was when it was huge. And ever since we've been buying and selling them used, there were three PS3 ones. Um, the guy wanted a tenner for the three. And I had a quick look and I said, this one, I noticed, had its dongle. PS3 ones need a dongle, as in a wireless receiver. The other two don't. So I, he said, I want a tenner. And I kind of thought, eh, not that worried, really. I was going to buy this one. So I, I explained to him, or I said, do you have any more of these? Because they would have originally come with dongles. And he said no. And then he said, tell you what, just give us a fiver for the lot, which I was more than happy to do. You can get 20, 30 quid just for that dongle. Um, one of these guitars also, the reason why I wasn't that keen on the other guitars, the batteries have leaked. You can see, there you go. Oh, Monty, honestly. This is, <laughs> he's getting in the Ikea bag. Get out. Wait. Get out. Oh, you menace. He's all wet as well. Has he been in the He's garden? Been in the garden. <laughs> as you can see, oh. Graham says, are you allowed to say dongle? <laughs> I can say dongle if I like. Yeah, battery leakage in there. But, oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Whoops, you all right? No, yes, there's there's no blood. Oh, uh, yeah. No sense, no feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mother's Day. And all you got was a clout in the head from a guitar. <laughs> Oh dear, right, I'm gonna put these down before I, I, should, before yeah. I injure you some more. Yes. Oh dear. But yeah, at a fiver, I would have paid that for just the dongle. 
Sorry. I do apologise. Um, I, gra I grabbed these. I'm laughing more than anything. It's whatever. Call the police, says Shazad. I'm showing the glasses off. I'm laughing so much. Classic touch chat moment. Yeah. <laughs> Spouse abuse live on the internet, guys. You saw it here first. <laughs> Um, I picked these up. It, like with most jumble sales, you kind of have to grab it if you're keen straight away. <laughs> Claims direct number. Because. <laughs> Did you have an accident at work? Live wife beating. Shocking. Yes, bum crack. I know. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I love that the result is laughter. You know, it can't have been that bad. You've gone all red now. Anyway, I, I grabbed these quick because they would have gone. Uh, they were a pound each, and um, this is <laughs> this is sealed. <laughs> but I think it's pretty obsolete and worthless. It's Photo Impact XL. It's very hit and miss with PC stuff because it, it gets out of date. You're crying. <laughs> I'm crying, laughing. I was crying when I laughed. <laughs> and I don't think that has a market at all. It's pretty much old and obsolete photo editing software. But, but this one is better. Says, this video to be monetized. Yeah. <laughs> Wife beating on live on air. <laughs> oh dear. Go to the bar and ask for Angela. What does that mean, Gary? <laughs> I don't know, but that's some. Um, I haven't had such a laugh in ages. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to hit you about the head with a guitar more often, dear. Oh, it's just a comedy moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that one is okay. It is out of date. It's an old Photoshop element. Um, but I've seen this completed at about 15. So pretty I've poor purchase anyway. But I grabbed them quick because I've done well on PC and Mac software. <laughs> Tom says, dongled <laughs> from YouTube. <laughs> You've been dongled. That's another story. Right. <laughs> the lenses I was looking at. I think when oh, this... apparently Angela is the code word to ask for help. I never knew that. So you learn something new every day. Is it? Yeah, apparently so. So who do you say Angela to to get help? Uh, what on the phone? Know. You ring up like, Angela. I don't know. What I don't know. I've never done that before. Never heard of that. Thank thankfully I've never had to. Yes, Vinny, that was a knockout buy. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Imagine if oh. I'd drawn blood live on air. Oh dear, that wouldn't have been good. Oh. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the the lenses I mentioned earlier, I took a punt on these. Um, I'm no expert at all. If they were Canon or Nikon, I, I would have known I was onto a winner. These looked like generic sort of a chain mm. brand or, or something, cheapo things. Yeah. But at a couple of quid each, I thought, yeah, I'm going to have a go. And they're really not worth much, I don't think. In a bar. You ask for Angela in a bar. So if you're in trouble, you go in a bar and you ask for Angela. and then they, Oh, if you're out and about in public. Yeah, they help you, I guess. <laughs> Unless oh. they, they're as clueless as I am. <laughs> there's got, nobody called no Angela, Angela here. here. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, so there's a super wide angle. The brand is Zykos. I don't know if you can read that. Okay, there you go. Uh, this is a super wide angle. <laughs> No, whereas I don't think anyone's been listening to what next person. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares. I'll carry on regardless. And this is a fisheye. Like that. We tried winning a camera for Ellen tonight. Yeah. We bid up to £500 on a bundle of Canon, uh, a really nice Canon digital SLR with a bundle of lenses and extra stuff, didn't we? And 500 wasn't enough to win it. So we're going to go for another one uh, that's on auction. <laughs> you're still, you're still giggling on the inside, aren't you? <laughs> So there's those, but I think they were a fail. I, I will make a little bit on them, but it would not really worth my time. Um, oh, that came with the guitars. Legends of Rock, Guitar Hero 3. I love that. I had that on the Wii, played it to death. The certain tracks on here, if I hear them, hear them on the radio or play them on Spotify, it immediately, in my mind, I see the Guitar Hero screen. Oh, I know. You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, which I ones? Um What's the I don't one? know if it's the one on there, oh. but uh, um, Barracuda by Barracuda, <laughs> yeah. the one everyone learnt yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, that one always gets me. Yeah, there's loads of tracks. Ruby by uh, Kaiser Chiefs yeah. brings it back. Knights of Sidonia. Yeah, excellent. Um, oh, I haven't even looked this up. This is uh, or I oh, thought. You, yeah, you thought it was like a baby carrier. Um, but it's not. Apparently, it goes around the back of a chair, 
and it's like a yeah it's like a mobile chair for a baby basically this isn't it's, why i'm an idiot i'm going to get to it's that it's a clever too. clever thing i thought this was one of these like little little papoose things where you where you put <laughs> your baby in you know what i mean bomb crap picker says nick said andrew one of those first aid kits <laughs> oh yeah if if you had have drawn blood i know got, we'd have been prepared about four first aid kits <laughs> And about a thousand plasters over there. <laughs> You'd have been fine. But yeah, I thought this was one of those little uh, fancy yummy mummy slings that you put your baby in uh, that we've had before and done okay with. Uh, it was like 50 pence or 20 pence. So I thought I'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. Turns out it's a thing that you, you hook on. What, you were explaining it. What was it again? Hook it on a I chair. Wasn't. I think it was your sister. Was it, it was Alison? Alison that was explaining it. Hicks on the back of yeah. a chair and you can put your baby in it. Yeah, it, it? it works as like um, you sort of tie them in. So it hooks. It fixes to the back of the chair, and you tie and then, your baby up, and then it? you sort of, uh, uh, you know, fix them and secure them into the chair. So it's like a mobile chair that you can just carry in your handbag. I think it's quite a clever idea, actually. Okay. Um, so, Charlie but... says that. Um, <laughs> that's not that advert. Charlie says. Charlie says. If you're old enough that's the to know. Prodigy track. Yeah. They did it. Yeah, um, yeah. That he's bought two things off us, and we haven't had any kachings my phone is in the living room my kaching is broken and I think your kaching is broken and, i haven't got um, my phone <laughs> so you'll have to have a look oh i can't but thank you for the sales <laughs> um yeah, I, I could, you could click, always have a look i could click on, on ebay desktop and in the meantime um krillin thank you very much for the super chat it says when can we talk about rock <laughs> saw omd last night oh awesome we're gonna see them at rewind aren't we because they're, they're headlining at rewind Kim Bora so, has, has made a sale. Oh, so has Peter two, Ray. Two things. Apparently, but wasn't it someone else? Did you, um, Charlie? Oh, do you go by Kim Bora, Charlie? Is that you? Um, because you, if that is you, you bought lots of stuff off us. Uh, corn uh, CD and uh, a sex tape. That sounds wrong. <laughs> sex tape DVD, the Cameron Diaz film. Yeah. Is that is that you? And thanks, Peter, for the uh, purchase of Buzz. It is sealed, but as you will have seen in the descri description, there is a split in the seal. Hence, it was cheap. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. So is that what's just come through, or did you, re yeah. did you refresh it? No, that's... I think that's what's just... Let me refresh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Must be those, okay. because right. that cool. order was already in cool, cool, the cool. one below. Yeah, Charlie says username Kim. Yeah, yeah, that'll be yeah. that one then. Thank you so much for the order. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, so let me, very little else. In fact, this isn't all of it. Where's the rest of my, oh, there might still be some stuff in the car. I'm not sure. I think this is everything. Just some media that I was scanning into Amazon. That looks fun. Love is the devil, Ooh. don't you know? Um, seems to go well on Amazon, and um, likewise, just a bunch of CDs. That... Said it's in stitches, funniest Sunday chat ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just random stuff that has fairly good ranks and fairly good prices on Amazon. Nothing to write home about then, but they were there. But <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, just. Uh, whatever yeah. fba stock done but well, that's pretty much it for me is, it? is that all you got yeah oh. unless the, was there more was there more know. stuff in the car no i think that i think that might be it i don't think there's more stuff in the car that? okay do you want to yeah. share some of your bits yeah i'll share a or should i share why, more... why i'm an idiot like yeah go on then, yeah we've been selling car parts many you may reasons, know this actually but yeah this is one, one of the many reasons say. why i'm an idiot we um <laughs> You listed a load and you start, started using the little product identifier, the SKU. What do they call it on eBay? Yeah, the SKU. Little yeah. SKU box. Yeah. So we have a reference to a shelf. So it's like A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, which ref reference these different shelving units and the ones upstairs in the spare room. Order comes in for one of these. Do I look at the reference number? No, I think, oh, I remember listing that. And I know where I put it. Went to the shelf and picked it off without checking any numbers. I sent the wrong part out. But the actual part he bought was like 
I think it's seven ninety nine. The one I sent him was like fourteen odd pounds worth. Yeah. And he's booked his car in for a service tomorrow. Oh, I didn't know that part. Of it. Yeah, I know. So Monty, look, he's in the bag. I know. Well, it, it smells good. Monty, come out of there. Monty, <laughs> leave it. There's nothing in there, so, though, is there? No. No, there you go. I don't know what he's trying to get. I out don't of. know. It just smells of different things. So anyway, because I didn't use that kind of fail-safe method we've got in place, because these are all so similar and all look the same, basically the one I sent him is exactly the same, but it's about an inch taller. Monty. He's licking the bag. Is he? <laughs> um, yeah, I've lost out. I've, I've now got to ship another part to him. I can't really ask him to send the other one back. It's not really worth the time anyway. I've lost a part worth £14. I've got to send him out this one at my cost. Annoying because we set up, yes, put it's... things in place to avoid this very thing. But I'm an idiot and I messed it up anyway. Despite our best efforts. Uh, it happens. We're only human. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm an idiot, or one of the many reasons. Um, mm -mm -mm. Craig says, do you guys have a skip near you? They have shops where they rescue things to resell where I, where I live, get some decent stock for such low prices. No, not really. Mm. Um, okay. Can you hear Monty? <laughs> I'm going to take this bag away. There must be something smells interesting in here because he was licking the bottom of the bag yeah. all right put that away oh monty ah <sighs> do you service cars on your drive then asks gavin no no i <laughs> know <laughs> we haven't gone that far but this guy said he'd booked his sang young oh, it was yeah. for a sang young oh, i'm gonna chuck him out he's in my bag now he'd, bo <laughs> <laughs> he'd booked it in to be serviced so i guess he was keeping the prices down by buying cheap parts online and then booking it in to be serviced and providing the parts himself is all I can assume. But it's booked in for tomorrow, so this is not going to get there in time. Oh, I don't know. It's just annoying. I don't know. It must be just the sort of jumble smell. It's different, isn't it? They like different smells. and Yeah. You know, it's, oh, wow. Did anyone just see that? See what? That thing that just flew past us. <laughs> that was quite mad. No. I don't know what that was. It's a speck of dust there. It just went whoosh, like that. It came up from the bottom, went up that way. It came up from your bottom, did it? <laughs> nice. Um, Andy Robinson, Andrea, Nick, Billy Ocean performing at Bedford in August. How is he? We're going to see him at Rewind as well. <laughs> is he at Rewind? Yes. Going back to Krillin, sorry, we kind of skimmed past your super chat. Appreciate that. What was the question? Let's talk about rock. He's talk about see... rock. Oh, we saw OMD. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, we are looking forward to seeing them in is it August? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we will report back. Probably get some footage. I still haven't shared the footage from the gig we went to uh, a week or so back. Um, I did share, as you may have seen, Clara talking about sexism, and I've got some very strange comments on that video. People who really don't understand well, don't what she's talking about. No, if it was the sexism thing, did you change it to? Well, she's talking about in reference to Harvey Weinstein and the, and the song they wrote yeah. in response to that story breaking. I think people have got the wrong end of the stick, and they're really not getting the gist of it. Anyway, it is what it is. Andrea's seen seeing stars <laughs> from the bang to the noggin, says Craig. <laughs> Probably. Have I broken you? Is that it? Was it such a ruddy day? Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, you got con Did concussion. Else see that? No, it's just you, dear, just because me. you've been hit about the head <laughs> with a plastic guitar, and now you're seeing stars. <laughs> oh dear, Should sorry. I be taking you to hospital to get checked out <laughs> for concussion? Yeah. Right, what else were we going to um, talk about? Yeah. Oh, we wanted to say hi to Janice. Yes, we saw Janice yesterday. Did you at, um... bring in your cool little thing? The... Oh, I didn't. I'll go and get it. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh, the dog's like that. I can talk about you now while you're gone. Yeah, I'm not going to go far. Yeah, we met at queuing up for the jumble sale. We got there about an hour early um, and we were still quite far back in the queue. We were about 30th or thereabouts. And a lady we know called Janice was there. She's the lady that um, sold us all of those computer games last year. Well, 
Oh, you just shot him in the door. <laughs> Have you got a concussion now? It's all gone to pop tonight. He thinks you've got something for him. Look. I know, but I haven't. Look, Don't. He'll eat it. He nearly ate one of Ellen's um, game pieces that she's been making for graphics. Oh, she, she dropped was... it on the floor and he grabbed it. And then she was like, no. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so we met Janice in the queue. She got there probably five minutes before us. Uh, lovely lady. And she'd been carrying this around in the hope that she met Andrea to give it to you. And it was very nice. And it's um, it's this, if you can see it. There we go. Little My Little Pony collector's book. And it's vintage from 1987. It's 1987, so it's not like Slow, the not up. for the original ponies, but it's really nice. So these and are like the got... se second wave, would you say then? How does it Possibly. work? Possibly. Because originally there was like four classic ones, wasn't there, that yeah. started? And then they, then it took off and they, this is like... Yeah, because it's got the grooming parlour on the back, if anyone knows anything about ponies, yeah, which you can't it. really see. Um, Where's the grooming parlour? But it's got a different pony in it, so you... It's not the original grooming parlour. My sister had this grooming parlour, but I think she did have a different colour one. Yeah, I, yeah. Did, I had the original one. Oh, I can't remember which out. one it was. Maybe it was Cherry's Jubilee or something But this like is that. this is really cool. It shows all of the sets yeah. as they were released. And on the in... back, it has like an identification guide. So it names all the different ponies from different sets. So, so if you're a pony geek, this is yeah. like, wow. These are the, right. Just a little thing. Boy ponies. Yeah. Where are they gone? Where are they gone? These ones. Yeah, the adventure boy ponies. See, they're called here adventure boy ponies. Um, some of these we haven't had one for years. I think the last time we had one, it was around, worth around forty pounds, and I'm talking about two thousand, two thousand and one. Yeah. They are that hard to find. You can tell them because they're slightly larger. They look like shy horses, and they have hairy feet, like big hairy hooves. Um, but some of these these days are worth hundred plus. So try and keep that in mind if you can. You can make some serious money. But, yeah, that was a lovely thought, Janice, if you're watching. Yeah, it's really lovely because it's a lovely thing in itself, but it will also be so useful. Yeah, you're going to treasure this, aren't you? Yeah. There you go, 1987. I don't know if that's going to focus on there. So that was yeah. cool. And she had with her, what were the other things she had? Yeah, some um, 1960s Cindy's. Well, a 1960s Cindy that was dressed in a brownie uniform mm. which is really cool she was tiny not janice yeah or well, janice is quite small but <laughs> this cindy was about like what six inches seven inches and they mm. but they they went on to be more like 12 inch figures didn't they mm. like yeah i didn't even know that i didn't know that either no. yeah it was fascinating so hi janice thanks so much for that yeah. and we also bumped into richard who i see around he's a local reseller to me i see it several boot sales he he got there a lot earlier than us and he was through the door before us i don't know I didn't really see him later on. To yeah, find no. out. he's quick. He's quick on his feet. As well. Oh, he was in his trainers, <laughs> ready to go. Yeah. But yeah, lovely chap. It was nice to see you again and catch up. Thank you very much, David, for the five pound super chat. Uh, is there a comment? There's no comment associated with it. Appreciate no, that, yeah, David. Thank you. There was one bit further back that we've missed from Quillen. Oh. There we go. OMD, OMD played in Hell's Kitchen, club packed 4,000 people. Wow. Hell's Kitchen. I've not heard of that venue. No. I'm assuming that that would be in New York, yeah. where where Quillen is. It's so good that the only, the only is still Hell's going. Kitchen I've, I know about is Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, program. that's what that's, that's what I thought when I read that. <laughs> By the way, your gloves are there. You've been looking for them. Oh yeah. <laughs> Found my gloves. <laughs> Nick loses every single pair of gloves he ever. Has. Every winter I get through. I lose at least two or three scarves and all of my gloves, and then the next year I will buy more. Yeah, and then you find them all, and then you end up with <laughs> tons of gloves and scarves. Yeah, well, as yeah. the title says, Nick is an idiot. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, thank you to Krillin and David for those. Pay Andrea danger money. <laughs> yeah, I need insurance. <laughs> grooming parlor? Question mark says Adam. Yeah, um, grooming for ponies. Okay, <laughs> don't know where your mind's going. Um. Okay. The yeah, Cindy Claire and Lee said, I really, really want to watch, but I'm going to have to go and clean as early start. Catch you all later. OK, cool. Nick is an idiot. Part two. Yeah. yeah well, thanks for joining could, us. Could anyway. have a whole series of Nick is an idiot. Whether you're Claire or Lee or both of you. Thank you for joining us. Um, OK, 
Um, Shall I show a couple of things that I picked up? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, the, one more thing, and then I'm finished. I bought these because they were a pound. It's a thousand disposable aprons. I figured it has to be worth more than a pound. It has been, the seal has gone there, but it looks like nothing's been taken out of it. It's absolutely rammed. And this tape is still fixed in place. So pretty sure there's still a thousand in there. Not big money in it, 20 to 30 pounds, but from a pound, happy days. There you go. I knew there was something else I bought. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm only going to share a couple of the more interesting bits. Clothing resellers will appreciate this. So will Beck. <laughs> because Beck picked up a, a vintage Laura Ashley dress. Want to come out the way? Um, so yeah, same vintage Laura Ashley. Just um, sort of pink and frilly, 1980s. Right, talk about it. So, how much were the clothes at this place then? Um, I think it averaged about three pounds. Because um. I've never done that before at the, this jumble sale, but I just went straight to the more expensive clothing rail. And I think I, she did a deal on on a bundle for me, and I think it averaged about three pounds each. Okay. So, yeah. So you went for the more expensive stuff, as it were, this time. There's more CDs. Oh, I knew there was more media. Yeah. Load more sealed media that I picked up. So I got that, and then I found another vintage dress. Um, I can't even read what that says actually. What? What do you reckon that says? Marion Donaldson, maybe? But I just really loved it. I loved the print. Marion, yeah, Marion Don Donaldson. Mm. Do you reckon? Marion Donaldson, yeah, it is. Yeah. But I would just really love the print. I love the colour. Where's the dog? Oh, there. He's there. Yeah. It's um buttoned down and it's got a belt around it. It's got well. shoulder pads. It's got shoulder pads. So. so what eighties then? I'm thinking eighties. It looks eighties to me, but I haven't done any research on it yet. So um, when I do my haul, I'll have done a bit more research and I'll let you know what it was. But yeah, I've not heard of that brand before, but it just I just really loved it and it caught my eye. Come out the way. Um, I'm gonna go that way now. The other thing. <laughs> Monty, get, I'm gonna run him over. The other if thing I'm that's now. really cool. Come out the way. Out the way. There you go. It's car crash TV tonight. The other thing that's really cool is this vintage next skirt suit. So you've got the skirt. It's a really tiny waist as well. That, that's my new little house on the prairie uh, dress, apparently. Is it? <laughs> this pink one. Did that suit me? This is a vintage size 10, so it makes it more like a size 6. The waist is absolutely tiny. So are you so going to it, just put the measurement of the waist? It will be in? a long-term item, I think, until somebody wants it that's, that's you know, that's small. <coughs> this is even smaller than Ellen. Oh, this is that real jumble sale smells yeah, coming up, please. Um, can you show the label? Because it's really cool. So that's it. Skirt. And that's the jacket that came with it. With a vintage next label. Real wool. Yeah. So and sorry, just... I wasn't listening. What did you pay on these? Uh, about three pounds and Oh, for everything, right? Okay. Yeah. And that's a uh, jacket and skirt, yeah. Yeah, really, just a really nice tweed suit, and it's just yeah. I love that. And I bought twelve items in total, so I'll share the rest with you another day. But I just wanted to. Are you going to stop bits. there? Well, go for one. Monty's, Monty's head is running. in the bag. They're all going to get hairy. He's fascinated by the smell of this stuff. It's got that jumble okay. sale musty smell. What's that tagged thing? Is that a good one? Oh, that's quite cool with with the um, oh, pins yeah, on. That was a bit... Share yeah, that one quick. I will do. But I was just going to. I mean, this is very basic, but it's Hobbs. So, clothing resellers will appreciate a Hobbs jacket. Means nothing to me. Really quite pleased with that. Hobbs got like a silky lining. And this is really, really nice. Love this. It is mint velvet and it's brand new with tags. Ooh. Yeah, it's really nice. It feels so soft. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'll just make yummy noises. Ooh. Yeah, mint velvet stuff's lovely. Yep. Okay. 
and well, you, do you want to, to yeah, just share this one because I, I think this is cool. I've no idea about this, but I picked it up because I just thought it was interesting. It's like a punk throwback with the <laughs> safety pins. This? These it's are got... all individual real safety pins. Yeah, and they're all sewn in at the back. I said to you, did, so... has somebody just, you know, done that themselves? Yeah, they haven't. That's jazz the it up, but that's it. how it would have come. Yeah, and it's got its new tags. I know nothing about the what brand. What are these down here then? Oh, but that's... it's from theoutnet.com, so it's a designer thing. This is like um, actual metal chain. Yeah. So I don't know. I need to do some research on it. And it's tagged. Uh, what was the original price then? It doesn't have a price on it. It's Miss not Sony. priced. Miss Sony, so, whatever that is. Yeah. But there's a lot of work gone into that. So that wouldn't have been. He wants to come <laughs> in now. He's very put out that I've thrown him out. <laughs> we might have to let him in. If we pick that bag oh, up. Put it up. up the top do you want to chuck these back in the bag and then we'll move it? We'll let them in. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the highlights of um, what I got. But I was really pleased with it. So, you're going to research that and, and find out yeah, I'm going to what they're worth. And then I'll do the haul. Right. Okay. Well, let me let the dog in. Come on, you menace. Right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, I also <laughs> shared that we were going to a party, which I thought was Friday night when I streamed. It wasn't. It was last night. Yeah, but you just don't know ever what day. I never know what's going on. And um, you said to me that it was fairies and pit. No. Yeah, I thought it was fairies and elves. Fairies and elves, which is what I shared with you guys. Elves and warriors. It was elves and warriors, and we we hadn't got organised, so we ended up just saying to Ellen, "Do you want to just do some face makeup, and we'll show Willing and, and do that?" I ended up with great big black eyebrows. Like I found this Google image of a of a an elf warrior guy yeah but i just ended up look, looking like one of the marx brothers with massive black eyebrows <laughs> and glitter all around my face just You've because i've got glitter on your face there's oh. bits that are still stuck in my hair that won't come out anyway i felt so self-conscious i really did you look great you look like some elf yeah El eleanor maiden. Done sort of like green eye makeup and little leaves all around my face and it was really cool i just looked like an idiot which is fair enough you know it goes goes with how I am yeah. but um it was it was great to go and support our friend Lee but we we knew we didn't know most of her extended friend group we know her through Ellen yeah Ellen's friend at school so I'm sure everybody's been to a party and like that where you you don't really know anybody it was else. really hard to awkward. yeah it's really hard to, to get in and chat um but, yeah. there was fa they played fantastic music all night so we sat yeah. there enjoyed the music and the food and the cider and we chatted to one of her <laughs> yoga friends who was also on her own. Yeah. And then the funny thing was, she said, I'm just going to go and get myself a beer. I think I'm going to go to the bar downstairs because they do much better craft beers down there. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. She says, be back in a minute. Never came back. She did. I think she felt <laughs> she a bit left out as well. Back. So she just she made a, did a runner. Yeah. But it was it was an interesting night. Yeah. Wasn't it? I just, I, 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 realize that night i'm i'm really not into <laughs> having stuff that draws no, attention to my face were, i felt so self-conscious yeah plus it wasn't doing much for your allergies it was itching wasn't it, was it itching on my face i was reacting to the makeup i had like green eyeshadow all around the inside of my eyes and then these massive crazy eyebrows <laughs> yeah. uh <laughs> yeah little sparkly freckles <laughs> and glitter yeah freckles there. yeah and then and then I wasn't dressed up. So it was just and we walked there, right? We walked through town to this party and I'm just like there walk, were there were points where like you this. just walked behind me. So yeah, I'm like, oh, <laughs> da, 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 da. See you. oh dear. Anyway. It was very funny. Top chat is supposed to hide potential spam messages. Live chat shows all. So oh, that's the okay only difference. Then. Then. Right. Thank you for that. So we'll just choose top chat then. Well, I can switch it back. Um no, I think no, if I click that now, did that there change some, things? Anyway, okay. There was some chat about um, Miss Sony, I think. I'm not sure. Well, back. You want me to go back? Nice mint velvet, says Car in there. Yeah. Jumble sale smell perfume. I'm not oh, sure there'd be a market know. for that. <laughs> Question Are they culottes, not a skirt with that suit? That next oh, suit yeah. was that. I did see that question. I was going to have a look. Sorry, I was distracted by the door. Okay. I can't see the chat about Missoni. 
No, it's a skirt. Definitely a skirt. Oh, okay. Andrea, do you wash your vintage clothing? It really depends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it depends on the um, the state of it, really. Yeah. It's per. Sorry, I'm just reading. <laughs> and and just, reading. just to you know sort of go further on that and to clarify it, it, I think that you can tell if something has already been laundered if it's already been dry cleaned or if it's been through the wash you can tell because it smells that way it feels that way you know you and if you feel that you need to wash it because it smells a bit musty or it has some stains on it or whatever then i i do that but i think most of the time you get used to with knowing whether something's been washed before it was sent to jumble anyway so i have to agree with kevin if I had a face like yours, he says, I wouldn't draw attention to it either. It's exactly how I felt. The thing is, because I, I, Ellen, um, who's really into her makeup, and she, she did a makeup for us, um, and then I put my glasses back on, and it just made, made me look like one of the Marx Brothers. And I was like, oh, we've got to go now. I can't change it. We just went. It was fine. I, I know. Everybody I know. was just being silly that night. Um, okay. Has anyone washed silk ties? I've got a bag of ties to list actually somewhere. I need to well, dig them out. That's interesting. Heather says that wool light make dry cleaning sheets that you can pop in the dryer. You can buy them on Amazon. Didn't know that. That's cool. I've got a dryer now. Wool light makes dry cleaning sheets. Yeah. I'll look into that. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, question. Sorry if I missed <laughs> it, but that. why is Nick an idiot? Well, I don't have enough time to give you all the reasons <laughs> why I'm an idiot. And I'm sure you could come up with many more. Um, it was in reference to me shipping out the wrong car part, despite the fact that we have them all shelved with skew numbers on the shelf. I went and picked what I thought was the right one without using the reference number, shipped it out, and then he's gone. Wrong part, mate. Right, yes, there are photos of this makeup, but I don't think Nick would want me to share them. There wasn't photos of me, is there? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. There's photos of you and you look good. I just look like a right plonker. Um, okay. I don't know if we had anything else on the list of things to talk about. Oh, we wanted to mention, um, we, as you know, uh, worked with a company called Habu last Monday. Um, and somebody, I can't remember who, messaged on that video to say that they'd been in touch with the company on the back of our video. And the response they got was that they had been inundated with inquiries about their business and people wanting to sign up since the video. So I'm just so chuffed that, you know, yeah. get helping to get yeah. the word out there for them has worked and they've had a really good response from it. To the point where I've been trying to, message martin and he hasn't been responding to my emails i know I think because just we want to ship our, under. our mats to him but yeah i think they have been snowed under so we haven't managed to sort that out yet have we? no over the next couple of weeks i will yeah. work out how i'm going to ship all this gear to them and try out their service yeah um but yeah really glad we did that um i was gonna say somebody asked a question if i can see it if it's zooming by Oh, um, Craig said, Andrea, how are you getting on with the folding gadget? Yeah, it's really useful. <laughs> Who knew? You've worked out how to use it now, have yes. you? Yeah. So, yeah, how are we doing? We've got about 10 minutes. So we'll throw it over to you guys. If you've got any questions or things we'll touch on, um, what's our plans for this week? We watched. Well, can I, go on. What are you going to say about the meeting? We watched the here and Beck, as I'm sure many of you did. Yeah. And they were saying they sit down on a Monday and Thanks, have Beck. have a meeting <laughs> and discuss plans for the week and write down your targets and then meet again next the next Monday and you hold yourselves accountable to what you set out to do. And mm -hmm. we're not very good at that sort of thing. We don't have any real structure. Nick comes out after the chat and he's like, we need to have a meeting like that too. Like, <laughs> I oh, think we okay. do uh, with, with some targets and stuff. So we're going to experiment with that, aren't we? Next week, we're going to have some listing targets. We kind of drift along and we... Well, no, I do set myself targets, but I generally tend to fail. 
Really well, that yeah, so we both I do. just need to work out something that's a bit more realistic, I suppose. I get really ambitious about what I can achieve, and then I feel like I've let myself down. <laughs> we start with um, a really low target, yeah, that's achievable, and go yay, and then yeah. up it a little bit each week. Yeah, um, Graham says, um, how has Andrea's office blind worked out? Really good, apart from the fact that every time I pull it down. Monty decides he wants to go out the door. <laughs> well, people suggested on that video, and it was a good suggestion that we hung it where the original backdrop was, where mm. those drawers are. The reason, or one of the reasons we put it where that door is, is it's opposite where all the light floods in. So you get even light. Whereas if we put it the other way around, sideways onto the window, everything would have shadows cast across it. Mm. But it does, it does mean when I pop through to have a chat word with Andrew or go and fetch something that's sold. Yeah, it has to knock on the window. I go to the kitchen window, <laughs> the old back window of the house that looks through to the extension and go, yeah. hello, and then because the blind's up. But it only takes two seconds yeah. to wind up. But it, I don't know. It's like Monty, just he's fast asleep in his bed, you know, just dreaming away about him running through fields. And then as soon as I pull it down, he's like, oh, I can't get out the door, so I want to. <laughs> like clockwork every time. Oh, so here's laughing. He says it's blown out of proportion. I'm it's not that organized. <laughs> well, the part that I think is good, as you put it, Zahir, you can hold yourself accountable to what you had planned to do. And having that little bit of, you know, sort of the carrot and stick approach, really, isn't it? Like you know you're gonna sit down and read back what you'd planned, yeah, and share how miserably we failed or not. So that will be in the back of your mind. And sometimes that's all you need, that little push to, to yeah, just get well, that bit organised. I have started using a planner because I thought that would help me. But it just went all, all out the window last week. So oh, yeah, going to try and, well, we'll, think, we'll see. I we'll think see what, if it makes what we both better. need to do is decide when we are in work time and then we're in work time for that four hour stretch or whatever. And then we break for an hour for lunch or we go out and do a training walk for, well, those are like two hours at the minute. They're serious. They uh, walk, aren't they? Because we're doing yeah, six, seven miles. A, we've, we're down for a five mile tomorrow. Yeah. So that's taken a chunk so. out of our day. And I think if we don't, you know, prioritize the time that we are sitting down and listening and doing nothing else, you can quickly lose a day. We've all done it. You know, you think, oh, I'll just do a bit of this. I'll just watch a bit of YouTube. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll just go and do well, a five mile walk. Yeah. Oh, the day's gone. Because I always think that I can watch a bit of YouTube, like I watch other reseller videos in the background. Mm. But I do think, actually, and we discussed this the other day, and I think half my brain is listening. So I'm not putting all of my focus on what I'm doing. So it slows me down. So it's not necessarily that totally distracts me like i start watching it but i think that it does slow you down so i'm going to try and stop that this week and just listen to the radio or to spotify or something yeah but, um... yeah i can't have i can sometimes have youtube on if it's um if i don't have the picture on and it's just the audio but even then you you kind of get drawn in mm. And you end up oh, click, clicking through and, and rewinding. What mm. what were they showing them? What did they mention? Yeah, and then them? sometimes it reminds me of something. I think, oh, I'm just going to check that. And then I go through the eBay rabbit hole of like checking stuff and you know, looking up stuff and then Googling other things and then doing a bit more research. And I think that's distracted me from doing this, which I was doing in the first place. Yeah. And I, so. I also think, and we discussed this, it wasn't a row. We didn't have a domestic, Steve, if you're watching. Um, the fact that you like to research to the end of the earth everything and do we have another take a lot um, of time over it? Super chat. I think we do have another super chat. I don't know. Or is that the old one that's just no, counting just scroll, down? Scroll down actually. Where we were. There we go. Oh. Um Hell's yeah. Kitchen. This is from Quillen. Oh, we've got loads of questions that we need to go back okay, to. Okay, we will go back to the questions in a sec. Quillen, uh, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciated. He says Nick, Hell's Kitchen is an area of New York City, not a venue. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. News to me. Not a venue. It is infamously known for being home of the Irish gang Westies. Oh. Now it is cleaned and gentrified. I see. That's cool. Yeah. Didn't know that. Never heard of it. Okay. That's let's awesome. scroll back. Yeah, I was just saying. So 
I think a challenge for you is to let go of some of that perfectionism with yeah, the listings. Yeah, and I'm just too meticulous. As well, and and I've get, get the stuff up there or perhaps trial it for a week. Doing oh. Writing your listings quick and seeing Sorry, if you I get just, more sales because more stuff's up. Rocky Gone. Rose 44 said that Masoni is a top designer in the hundreds. Oh. Ooh, what was which one was the Masoni? One with the, um, with the flagged one yeah what's it called <laughs> what that's it's because i'm concussed safety pins <laughs> oh the safety pin one. it's because i'm concussed there we go oh this one yeah that's it either that or you know senior moment this one i couldn't think what they were called no that's not Miss all i could think of was paper clips and that's not what no it's not that one yes oh is. yes it is. it is oh it is that one okay so that could be a bit of a home run then maybe well maybe Possibly. Hope so, because I didn't buy much at the jumble that was any good. Mm. Mm. It, like I said when when we were holding up, well, there's I've a lot, it lot came, of work. As I that. said, it came from Outnet, um, which I've seen advertised on TV, um, which do designer clothing and stuff. Outnet.com. So, yeah. Right. Well, we'll have well, thank to. Thank uh, you for that. I would definitely research that. We will let you know. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I just hit myself in the face with a tag. Another injury. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Right, um, questions. Very quickly, um, I did notice, I think it was Vinny that asked if we watched any other YouTube other than reselling videos. And yeah, I yeah, I like YouTube. I tend to watch a lot more YouTube than normal TV. And um apart from like I really like like Zoe, Zoella and Alfie and you know, I like watching those. Ellen doesn't anymore because they're not cool anymore. Um <laughs> but also We're the, not the cool thing enough. that I was gonna say is that I I really like watching um, fashion bloggers and vloggers on YouTube, especially as a clothing reseller, because you get lots of, um, you know, you, you you find out what's new, what's current, and they talk about the the different, you know, shows. And London Fashion Week's just gone by, so they review all of the new trends, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I really like that, and they show lots of different hauls and things that they get for free and stuff and so if you're a clothing reseller i'd really recommend watching fashion vloggers as well and bloggers yeah um, i i i watch a fair amount of reselling videos um but for just relaxation and enjoyment i watch skateboarding videos mainly and a few gaming channels retro gaming um my favorite um would be last gamer an australian guy yeah. fascinating he has world's guinness world record collection of i don't know how many tens of thousands of games and yeah i was just going so to give a stuff. couple of recommendations um which mm -hmm. was megan ellaby i really love megan mm -hmm. ellaby um and i like um naomi smart and because she's also she's a fashion vlogger but she also does lifestyle and vegan stuff so that ties in with everything that i love really and um, just found um, Olivia Purvis as well. Um, she's really good. And she, I think her channel is called What Olivia Did. Cool. I think. Um, Paul asks, I know we're getting behind in the chat. I just wanted to stay on some of these questions. Paul asked, uh, Paul Calvert, that is, mm -hmm. how do you manage your time between housework, et cetera, and doing listing? That oh, is a God. struggle. It's, it's a, a daily a real, struggle. Real struggle. A real struggle. Yeah. I mean, last week I was pulling my hair out and I said, I just want to get it cleaner. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah. It's, it is a struggle. I think it's a common thread between all people who work at home is you work in your home so you can see the jobs that need doing as in housework and stuff. Yeah. And you can but you can you, see the office up there with all the work that you know. Yeah, you so do. you try and prioritise your work yeah. and, you know, listing and all of that. And, and then, then everything else goes to pot. And then you feel bad if you then think, oh, I just need to give an hour to doing this. Yeah. But, and then, of course, I, yeah, I have the the kind of the problem that my office is just just there and I can just come in here and do an hour's work. But, you know, I'll be in there for four hours. Yeah, easily. And, yeah, it's two ways. We, we can get distracted by work and we can get distracted by the house, by the TV, by... Yeah, I don't tend to get distracted whatever. by TV. I just make sure that I only give that, give myself maybe an hour when I eat my lunch. and catch up with something because i don't really get a lot of time to watch it in the evening to be honest apart from when we're sitting down to eat tea um caroline ballard is in she says i stopped saying i wanted to list a certain amount a day 
and changed it to listing for a length of time. I find yeah. if I say half an hour, I end up doing longer. Just getting started is enough to spur me on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Getting started yeah. is the, the main hurdle, isn't it? And once you get going, it's like, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, I remember. Listing is quite normal, kind of easy. I do it every day. What am I worried about? But yeah, getting going is tricky. Somebody said ages ago that um, when you start a listing, um, start a timer. And it just keeps you focused on what you're doing. And you keep looking down, oh, I've been 10 minutes on this listing. What's going on? And it stops you drifting off into other things. Mm. Yeah. Um, Distraction I, is a big thing. I yeah. Think. I was doing that for a while and it really helped and I tried to keep to an average per listing time and I think because you've readily admitted one of your problems is you, you take too long on the research and too long on this and that yeah if you were trying to stick to x amount of time we don't know what that is per listing actually physically just having a having your phone and timing it yeah and then you know when you perhaps you're dragging it out too long and then it's not time effective I don't know. We're going to experiment with this and, and come back to you and let you yeah. know what works. I've just read a question, actually. It was Bianca said, Andrea, oh, no, it wasn't Bianca. It was Adam 3D um, said, as a part time seller, I'm struggling to list all nostalgic pieces I'm picking up. What would you say is the best way to help with this? Letting go, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm a bit like that. You know, if I, if I buy something that's nostalgic, I sometimes look after it for a little bit and um and then let it go just yeah. let it unless go unless it's something that you really 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 love then just keep it well you've but, been holding on to some care bears for, for about a year and a half now. yeah but i've promised promised them to a friend she's so. never gonna pay you for them i'm just gonna send them to her no i am what <laughs> she's having a hard time i'll tell you about that later oh okay fair enough um Right, we are way behind. Sorry, guys. Um, Zahir was saying there. He said something before. Yeah, it's going to be awkward tomorrow on their on their Monday morning. How how did we go with our tasks? <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. thing, isn't it? Holding yourselves accountable. But it, I think, as a tool, it will be valuable. Certainly for me to hold myself accountable to what I set out to try and achieve in a week, and then come back and for you to say, "Well, Nick, on your list you had, you know, this, this, and this. Have you done them?" And it's just that little bit of accountability that, that is lacking from how we do things. Yeah. Um, oh, da, 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 da. And so here agrees. You, the walks are becoming a pain in terms of time out of the day. Mm. Yeah. yeah, because they're getting longer now. Yeah. Well, they're doing five miles tomorrow. And that's, yeah, that's that what, what we're, we're going to do tomorrow. Yeah. yeah that's, it, that's what's on the plan. It's a big chunk out of your day. So you have to work around that. Right. Let's catch up. Sorry, guys, if we're missing things. We're on the hour. So let's yeah. see um vinnie let's be honest cleaning the house is the last thing most of us want to do we wouldn't be here otherwise there's always something we should be doing yeah other than well other than work no that's not right <laughs> there's always something else we could be doing yeah so maybe that's something i need to plan in to the day <coughs> as well is you know half an hour to have a tidy oh, up me. or you know, run the hoover through because yeah. it also i think that when you do clean up and the house looks nice and feels nice then it just it helps with productivity because it just helps you helps your mind a bit more i, I struggle just to keep this area tidy just mm. to keep my office tidy and when it comes to packing tomorrow i've as usual got to clear the office up first because i don't tidy it as i go and i've never been able to get on top of that my office is the nicest place at the moment. In the house. Not in the house. <laughs> it is. But, well, maybe. <laughs> it's the cleanest yeah. room in the house. It's crazy. Wow. Um, I just want to read Graham it's the says the tidiest there. room in the house. I, I struggle with Ellen just coming in and dumping all of her work everywhere and all her clothes, and then she never tidies up. Well, Ellen's doing her GCSE coursework, and so it's art and it's graphics. So there's there's all over the table she's designed a board game and made it and made all the pieces and stuff and that's everywhere and then there's all her artwork and all her coursework folders yeah. and it's she you doesn't can't... ever put it away it just yeah. comes out and then but it stays there it's tricky at the moment to tell her off because she, we know she's really stressed and she's working hard and she's she did her dance exam her practical the other day and we went to uh an evening where they showed the pieces 
their their, their self choreographed pieces. She did a solo piece, and oh, I was, phenomenal. I was Absolutely blown phenomenal. away. Yeah, get all emotional if I talk about it. Um, Sib K had a question. Apart from the mega hall, how often does tat spill over into the main living area of the of the room? Quite the often. House? All the jumble sale stuff is in the living it room. It goes in there temporarily to be kind of dumped and we'll have a little look through, won't we? Did you we? hear that noise? Was that just me? It was a notification. Oh. I don't know what it was about. <laughs> anyway. um, I thought it was my concussion again. <laughs> yeah, we are better at that, not letting stock hang around in the main living space of the house. Um, sometimes we will dump it in there, but then very quickly it will come in here or go through to Andrew's office. Adam says, I love listening to Metallica and Guns N' Roses while listening. Time passes quickly. Mm, actually, that's a thought. I haven't heard any of that for ages. Well, you're a big Guns fan, aren't yeah. you? We went to see Velvet, Velvet Revolver, which was kind of from, from the ashes of Guns N' Roses. If you're into that, you'll know mm. that was Slash and who else was in it? Duff, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, we went to, see, went to see them twice. And the second gig, uh, we were talking about tinnitus just... in a chat the other day. Second gig really well, gave me tinnitus. It was literally just before they um, split up. So we reckon that they were just like cranking it up and it just was outdoing each other. Beyond It loud. was, you could feel them splitting up on stage. There was just aggression there. <laughs> it wasn't a great gig. But the first gig was amazing. Mm. It was a really good gig. 30 minutes of full on focus and then take a break. Somebody messaged yeah, the chat just jumped. Idea. I don't know who that was. Good idea. Um, right. Let me get to the end. See you later, Peter. He's off to edit a YouTube video. Cool. I need to do that. I've got one that I want to put out from the gig. Still not done that. Yeah. Have you guys ever listened to Mac DiMarco, question mark, a new artist, kind of indie psychedelic rock? No, I will try and look into that. Have you ever heard of that or him? No, sorry, I was reading a different no. question. What was the question? <laughs> Have you ever listened to Mac DiMarco? No, I haven't. No. No, not heard of him. Uh, Darren says, making a board game, question mark, following after her dad. Next, she'll be hitting Andrew over the head with the guitar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's done a really good job. Um yeah, I probably shouldn't share it with you guys, but because it's cool. So I don't know, but it's, it's cool. And it's all based on the band she is fanatical about, which is 21 Pilots. So it's a board game about their career. Yeah, it's so cool. She's made the box, a really strange shaped box, which is shaped like their logo. And mm. it's, yeah, it's quite really impressive. Cool. Um, I'm not sure if it's Claire or Lee, but said really random question. Did you ever go to Bose Lion in Stevenage? Yeah, I used to skate there. Behind Bose Lion House is a skate park, so I'm sure you'll know. And in the 80s, they had a, a fantastic half pipe. I never did ramp skating. I'm too chicken for that. But they had a nice little street skating park there and, and, a, and a long half pipe, concrete half pipe, which we used to skate in. And I went to a couple of gigs at the venue. Couldn't tell you who I watched there. But no, yeah. I've never been there. Really? Yeah, in all the years I've never. You been lived there. just across the, the green. Well, from I was there. Only, I was really small though for that. Oh yeah, you were tiny. You lived in there's, there's, if you know it, there's a massive block of flats not far from there. You lived in there as a kid, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. But I was very small. So who was that? Do, are they from Stevens? Um, I think it's Lee. Is it or Leah? Oh. But that you don't live in Stevens now, then? No. Do they? No. Oh, okay. No. I was watching a live hangout, I think, of Claire and Leah's the other day. Um, right. Sorry, we're just reading them again. <laughs> I went to Oasis's gig at Wembley when Noel and Liam told everyone to f off. Amazing <laughs> gig, but they yeah. split the next day. Oh yeah. I thought they split after a gig in Paris. I've seen interviews about when they split. Yeah, but that or might they the, might have gone. They've had to several Paris splits, maybe. Because I'm sure he walked out before the gig, didn't he? They had a massive fight before they went on. Yeah, and he just walked out. And got yeah, Noel and went just went. Uh, yeah, he didn't play. Yeah. And I remember seeing in an interview Noel saying that if they'd have made it through that night, they probably would have had time to because it was the last. I think the last one of the tour. Yeah. And they might have stayed together. I'm I'm not that bothered because I've got all of Noel's solo albums or High Flying Birds albums, and they're fantastic. Yeah. In my opinion, better than the last couple of Oasis albums. So you know, I'm quite happy. 
Anyway, we're rambling now. We are. Should we let these uh, wonderful people I think we should, go? yes. <laughs> what was the topic tonight? I only just realised you guys were like, what was the topic? Well, we had a jumble sale haul. Um, a, a pretty small haul. Yeah. And uh, talking about how much of an idiot I am, which, you know, it's nothing new. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've still got 235 people in, which is mind-blowing. Thank that you is. so much for Thank your support. You. Uh, we will be back next week to ramble about reselling. Yeah, is Tat Chat on your channel this week? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Tat Chat Tuesday. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there, hopefully. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, just give us a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps us out. And we will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thanks Take for care. watching. Have a good week, everyone. Bye, Bye guys.